next test we're going to look at anterior draw test from a different angle. With this test, again, we have the patient with her hip approximately 45 degree flexion and the knee approximately 90 degree flexion. I'm going to sit on your foot to stabilize your foot. In this case, I'm going to, in this case we hold posterior. Again, have to make sure the patient's relaxed. This is primarily assessing the integrity of the anterior cruciate ligament, but it's also looking at the arcuate complex, oblique, popliteal ligament, lateral capsule, medial capsule, medial collateral ligament, and other structures. So it tends not to be as valid and reliable as the Lachman test, but sometimes Lachman test is difficult to do in some circumstances. So you have the patient relaxed. I have my fingers on the superior anterior joint line of the knee, and with this I give a brisk pull anterior, and I'm checking for excessive movement or anterior translation of the tibia on the femur, which is going to show a ACL tear or stretch strain of the ACL, looking at the laxity. Typically, five degrees or more, or five millimeters or more anterior translation is considered a positive test. The more movement, the more laxity and potential tear of the anterior cruciate ligament. So the anterior draw test, we'll look at the ACL.